Earlier this week, a driver hit a 17-year-old in Richmond. Now, as the team begins the road to recovery, Richmond's police department is speaking about how things like this can be prevented in the future. LEX 18's Rachel Richardson spoke with the family about the teenager's recovery. Today, 17-year-old Yolanda Hoskins is recovering after being hit by a vehicle this past Monday afternoon on her way home from school with her brother. The street, they was running across the street. Her car came out of nowhere and then hit my niece. Hoskins and Zahn says that her niece is having trouble with her memory in addition to injuries from the impact. Um, so luckily there was no broken bones, but she was more bru bruised in her face. Um, as well as having bleed into our brain. That 17 year old was hit earlier this week in the second street area here in Richmond. Police tell me while this doesn't happen often, they do believe that the community can work together to keep pedestrians and drivers safe from incidences like this one. It takes the school, it takes drivers, uh, it takes pedestrians, it takes uh, the whole community to work together to kind of do this the right way. Chief Rodney Richardson explained that drivers on this particular stretch of 2nd Street should be extra cautious because of the road's hills and curves and considering there's a school nearby. And all the more reason, he says, paying attention is key. There's, you know, 10 to 12 schools in the city of Richmond. So we have to be sure that when we're out during those hours, that uh, we pay special attention. Police say after the accident, the driver was cooperative and that there's no reason to believe they were distracted or intoxicated. While they do appreciate the cooperation, this family says they're still looking for accountability. Hoskins and Zahn explains that her niece has a long road to recovery. Of course, it's gonna be a long process with that because we wanna make sure that she doesn't have any swelling to her brain or that happening to her causes later reactions to her. Hoskins was released from medical care yesterday. Richmond PD says it'll take the entire community to prevent accidents like this from happening again. In Richmond, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News. The Richmond Police Department says this incident is still under investigation. Again, Yolanda's aunt says she has a long road to recovery.